y'all it's your girl joss boss back on youtube for now i know it's been a while probably since the end of last year that was almost a year ago but i wanted to update y'all about what's been happening with me and also give you a bit of insight of my daily life as a tech entrepreneur and fashion model so yeah so to quickly recap on what has happened to me since I've last posted, I met someone at Trader Joe's. His name is Almir. We've been dating for about 10 months. It's actually kind of a funny story, but he's great. Other than that, just been super involved in the tech industry so that I can continue growing Vivify. I've learned a lot, made some pivots, changes. It's definitely not what I thought it would originally be, but I'm loving the process currently. I even started promoting myself as a fashion model in tech and got published in Wall Street Journal for fighting the stereotype of being a woman in STEM, that you can literally look hot and also be productive, fighting toxic professionalism. Yeah, but the most exciting thing that has happened is that I got accepted into a tech accelerator program. It's called Red Labs. It's the tech accelerator program offered at U of H with Rice and Texas A&M. And so that's what I'm currently doing this summer. And I'll go more into what a tech accelerator is and all that jazz. But that's why I'm making this video to kind of show you my life now and to give you some insight on how this program kind of functions. So yeah, follow me this week. Good morning. So I am skipping the whole getting ready for the day segment because no one actually cares. Realistically, I wake up early enough to make it to where I need to go 15 minutes early. Um, I wish I could say I wake up early, make breakfast, make coffee, read the newspaper, and be hella productive. But realistically, no, I don't. Kind of lost that during quarantine or lockdown, but now it's like I just... I want to sleep but I got stuff to do so today I'm gonna go to the Canon to do workshops for Red Labs. I'll show you more whenever I actually get there but the Canon is a co-working space in Houston one of the largest ones where entrepreneurs tech ecosystem kind of go to work and share space instead of having your own little cubicle or office. Um, so yeah follow me on this drive to the Canon. I'll show you the rest of my day. So we made it, we're at the cannon. So we made it to the cannon and I'm talking really low because it's super quiet here. But we made it and I'll probably show you around after Red Lab, but for now, enjoy this silent wrap up of what I do in the next few hours. Basically, I have lectures from 10 to around 12. So right now I'm on my break and then lectures start again at 12.30. So basically on my break, I would eat or go to the bathroom like I just did. And then I wait until 12.30 to start our next lecture of the day. So yeah, basically tech accelerators are formatted in kind of workshop format in a sense. It's definitely not like a college course where there's due dates and a syllabus, it's all kind of working at your own pace or on your own. So I just finished Red Labs for the day, at least the lecture portion. I do a lot of work usually on my own or yeah just like on my own or on my free time but yeah so that's basically my day just in front of the screen for hours i did want to show you around the canon more but right now i'm just debating on what i should do if i should go get food or if i should stay and do work but i'm pretty sure i'm about to go get food so I can finally speak in my normal voice because in the canon, although it's not enforced to be quiet, it's just really quiet since everyone's working and there's actually a lot of big corporations that work in the canon like Dell Technologies, Chevron, so everyone's just very productive and I don't want to walk around and vlog and be loud. So that's why I was whispering for the whole entire 
first part of the video. But uh, yeah, so that's the canon. I usually do work from 10 to 2 p.m., maybe 1 p.m., and that's whenever my battery is like, all right, you need a break, like, go eat, do something else. So yeah, I'm gonna head over to Almir's and probably continue working on more work later tonight. That's one thing about being a CEO or a business owner, you're never really off the clock, but you can manage your time the way that you want to. The next day, Good morning, it's Wednesday morning, and on Wednesdays for Red Labs, we usually have pod check-ins, which is whenever we check in with our leads on our progress during the program, and we have a guest speaker, which they call the series Founders Dilemmas. They usually find someone that has a startup or experience in startups, and they come in on Zoom to speak with us for the day, or for about an hour, not for like the whole day. Yeah, that's pretty much what I have planned today, and then afterwards, I'm going to meet up with one of the other solo founders a part of red labs to get some work done so yeah side note i am filming this video sort of sporadically so the events may not be in order but in general tuesday through thursdays i have a routine because of red labs and the rest of the time i'm just sort of doing my thing my days usually have more spontaneity what spontaneousness so yeah New chair check. I got an ergonomic chair for my birthday yeah. for my dad and it finally came in. So thank you, dad. Alrighty, so there are two times for pod check-ins, either in the morning or afternoon. This week I'm scheduled for the afternoon, so I'm chilling. But I wanted to show y'all the report I put together every week to show my leads. We show them our biggest learnings from the previous week, our improved or updated business thesis and value proposition statement, I have some extra slides in here. Whatever we're working on currently or what we did, what's next, and what we need help with. Alright, so it is currently 4.30. I'm about to meet up with one of the other founders, a part of Red Spark, which is the hybrid name for Alice Spark and Red Labs. So yeah, I am here at one of the newest coffee shops, which is Brastax. It's Thursday morning and on Thursdays usually for Red Labs is mentor meetings. It's actually Thursdays and Fridays but I try to schedule all of mine on Thursdays just so that I can have the weekend free. I'm gonna show you a little insight but every week the leads of Red Labs or the people that are in charge send out an Excel sheet with a list of available mentors that are able to meet with the founders and startups. And then from there you just kind of like sign up for a 30 minute slot On the day of your mentor meeting, that's whenever you get to speak with someone, a part of the tech industry or uh, an alumni or just anyone really that could be resourceful or helpful for the founders trying to start a tech company. I will show you a little bit of that today because I have two mentor meetings from 10 to 10.30, 10.30 to 11. Later in the day, I have a different meeting, but it's not related to the mentors. So, come along with me. So, just a quick glimpse of the mentor sign up sheet. It's just like an Excel sheet where all the founders can sign up for a slot. Just a little sneak peek. So, right now it's nine o'clock, so it's an hour before my first meeting. And usually, what I like to do um, prior to meeting with the mentor is I like to write down some questions about what I would like to discuss with the mentor. Sometimes I forget what they specifically do, so I look them up on LinkedIn, kind of look around, see possibly like how they could help me. Also, to give you more of a realistic idea of my every day, if I'm not in a meeting or researching, taking notes on what I need to do for work or just to get certain stuff done for Vivify, then I'm sending out emails, just emails all the time. Um, So yeah, I know, I know, very glamorous lifestyle. So 
it is currently five o'clock all my mentor meetings were this morning that ended at around 11 so afterwards i'm going to go get my nails done with my cousin but yeah now i'm back at home about to hop into a meeting but this time it is with a legal advisor so an attorney or lawyer these meetings are specifically with these individuals so that they could give us legal advice maybe tell us what documents or what we need to do in order to be this type of established business so yeah this is my first legal office meeting so gonna discuss with them a bit about how i filed vivify as a c-corp i did that on my own a while ago but now i have some questions because after that i'm just like I don't know what I'm doing and I want to make sure that I'm doing everything correctly so that in the future it won't give me a headache to try and fix new hair who this wow. new phone who this <laughs> but like I said before I've been filming for this video sporadically throughout the summer currently for red labs we are in week 10. we only have two weeks left until our bayou startup showcase which is sort of our, our demo day the day that all the founders go on stage for four minutes to pitch their business idea sort of like what you see on shark tank so today is my first pitch practice and we have mentors coming in on zoom to hear our scripts so that we can get feedback and you know sprucing it up before our big day not gonna lie hella stressful just writing the script but yay it is exciting i'm excited because then this would be my first time ever really speaking about vivify in front of a huge crowd and from the past year of learning so much about the tech community like how startup businesses work i just feel like this is my <laughs> moment like my time to shine make my appearance <laughs> Filming for this video has been the last thing on my mind, but I am getting it done just for y'all. Today is two days before Buffalo Startup Showcase, which is the demo day for Alice Park and Red Labs. But to summarize the past week or week 11, it was just pitch practice, which means the founders had to script out a four minute pitch or four minutes speech about their tech startup or what they've done over the summer with a slide deck or pitch deck sort of slideshow presentation we had to form those then pitch it and practice with mentors so that we can receive feedback from them so that we can improve and revise it doing that every single day it gives you whiplash especially if you're receiving so many feedback and information in such a short amount of time it's just like like you just start questioning everything you get overwhelmed i cannot tell you what i just went through in the past week because i pulled through and my pitch is finalized my slide deck is done and all i have to do now is rehearse and prep for showcase so the day of the event the founders pitch their idea back to back so the founders are pitching back to back then after everyone pitching we have a convention sort of at the end so that the audience can meet the founders or learn more information about the startups so yeah so the next like our last days until red lab is over i'm just getting ready prepping for the booth memorizing my script just yeah i'm just ready for this to be over not that i didn't enjoy myself over the summer or that i didn't reach my goals i set up it's just i am ready to move on to the next step or next milestone excited but at the same time scared because i don't know what to do next but i'll figure that out hi my name is jocelyn and i'm the founder of vivify prepping for creative project production takes longer than it should is it creative project production? Damn! I got it! Hello, Americans! <laughs> Hi, my name is Jocelyn, and I'm the founder of Vivify, the creative chaos management tool. So it is a day or the night before Buffalo Bayou Showcase and we had rehearsals at the Cannon. I completely bombed my rehearsal Aww. just because, I mean, 
I'm not trying to make excuses for myself because I can always complain, but I was just stumbling on my words and I got nervous. But I practiced more after practice and now I'm home practicing more, finishing up on updating my website. And tomorrow is showcase day, so yay! Please stop by our booth to take photos with a set designed by Houston artists. Thank you. Look at Kelly. Kelly's like, this is a rental. And she did such a good job. I'm so proud of her. I blacked out. But like, he did amazing. He had awesome drones that like ran to me. I almost hit her. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. You're He's alive. not sorry. You're, you're, you're alive. Okay, you're alive. That's about it. Whatever. But yeah. Alright. Peace. Cheers. Three weeks later. Hi. So it's been about two and a half to maybe three weeks since Red Labs ended. A week after demo day or the showcase, we had exiting interviews where we basically gave feedback to the program directors or the leads. So yeah, like I'm really sad that the program is over and it went by fast even though near the end I was really losing myself. But now I work at the Canon, which is kind of full circle since I got a free membership with them over the summer because of Red Labs and now going out of Red Labs I'm going into the canon but yeah super happy that I got to go through such an amazing program and reach my summer goals of rebranding Vivify my website creating a mock-up and building an advisory board now it's just seeing what happens next and I'll try to keep y'all in the loop I am a hot mess Still. So, this is me signing off.